You're watching the TC MMA podcast. Big story last night, and there's multiple big stories because you had a lot of finishes and a lot of guys that really uh, fighters that raised the bar uh, last night. You know, you win, it's great, but you win by finish, uh, it's even better, right? So normally we'll get to the main event later in the show, but this one is very important to get to first because you had number three, Amanda Lemos. This is women's strawweight division taking on Verna Jandaroba, number five. And when you look at all the cards throughout the year, this is probably the weakest card in terms of not a lot of people really care uh, about this fight. You know, it's not the big names. It's not for a title. It's not uh, the men's division, right? The women usually get lower ratings. And, you know, that's just the way it goes, unfortunately. But the last two weeks with Rose Nama Yunus and now a big straw weight uh, main event, it ended up being great. And here's how it went down last night. You had number three, Amanda Limos, number five, Verna Jandaroba, and uh, it didn't take long. Verna now squeezing now. She's got the rear locked in and continues to dominate the ground here. Limos is fighting off submission after submission and continues to fight for now. But Jandaroba continues to try to fight or lock in this rear. And she still has zero significant strikes. So, you you know, she's controlling the ground, but she's not doing much other than trying to get submissions. Hopefully it pays off. Oh, and here comes the arm bar. Oh, look at this. I think she tapped. Lemos tapped. Oh, and she taps again, and that's it. It's over. Yes. The win streak continues, at least in the main event. The rest of the night, I don't know. But we got the win in the main event. Verna Jandaroba beats Amanda Limos. And she'll jump from five to three at least after this impressive victory. And she's now getting closer to a title fight. And I was ready for a five-round fight, I'll be honest with you. You know, you got Brazil on Brazil. There's going to be submission attempts. There's going to be a defense of those attempts and all that. But nonetheless, we get a finish here. With just 11 seconds left in round number two, Verna Jandaroba on, I believe, zero significant strikes. Yeah, zero significant strikes. 6.30 of control time on the one takedown. And to me, it looked like Limos tapped. And then she spins her around. She's upside down. She taps again. And Jandaroba puts her arms in the air. And she gets a huge win among top five middle... Uh, Top five women's strawweight contenders. And she's going to leapfrog Amanda Limo. She's now 21 and 3. Look out. Once again, women's strawweight division. UFC Vegas 94. Yeah, so absolutely big win last night for Verna Jandaroba. She's already in the top five, but now she's looking at a potential title fight. Or at least one fight away from that title fight. Already calling out Zhang Wiley. She's ready to go. But all in all, you know... If that goes to a five-round decision, everyone's bored, you know, no one's taking Verna seriously, but she gets the big finish, and guess what? Now people are like, you know what? She could be the next champion of the strawweight division. Let's just get her that fight right now, because, you know, Zhang Wiley's fought a lot of people, but she hasn't fought Verna Jandaroba. He's gonna fight, wait, he's gonna fight, wait, hold your breath till the end of the night. Last fight of call, UFC at its height. Yeah. Bringing that thunder with all his might. Say, step up. Wanna fight? Huh? Hold up. Hold up. Think twice. Ah. Gladiator assassin. Reckless, no abandon. Walk through that cage, he'll leave your ass stranded.